What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the video. I hope you're good, I hope you're safe, whatever you're watching from today in these crazy, crazy times of the coronavirus. It's getting proper mad right now where I am. Things are getting shut down, people going into quarantine. I went to the supermarket the other day to try and stock up on food, but there's like literally hardly anything left. Nah, it's a proper madness right now, but hopefully, fingers crossed, things will get better really soon. Today, I'm gonna be making a melodic beat from scratch, and I wanna share with you my way on how to improve your melodies and get better at making melodies, because I feel like that's probably one of the most asked questions that I keep getting recently. And I feel like it's kind of a tricky question because there's is so much that you can do to make your melodies better. But I wanna share with you a process that I've been following for a while now to get better at playing the keys, get better at music theory, which has helped me to make better melodies in the process. Before we get into it though, hit the subscribe button right now. And yeah, let's get into the video. Ocean Gango Drown. All right, so I'm gonna share with you my process on how I've been able to improve my melodies and make better melodies. And it comes down to music theory-ish. I wouldn't say that I've sat there and read music theory books and fully understand it, definitely not. Most of the time, I still just use my ears to try and listen and hear what sounds good and play that or pencil that in. But learning a bit of music theory definitely, definitely helps. Step one of this process, there's two steps in this. Step one is to learn all your scales. If you wanna make happy sounding beats, joyful beats, then learn your major scales. And if you wanna make sad, emotional melodies, learn the minor scales. This is like very beginner basics right here, but it's really important. If you wanna make good melodies, you wanna pick a scale and stick to that scale so everything sounds good. And you wanna learn these scales and, and try and know it off by heart. So for example, if someone says, play me C major, you wanna be able to just, if someone says play me D major, you want to be able to almost didn't get it there. And vice versa, if someone says play me C minor, you want to learn your scales inside out. That will make life so much easier, especially when it just comes to improvising. If you don't know any scales, literally just go in Google, type in piano scales. There's a website right here, pianoscales.org, and it breaks down all the notes in every single scale. So yeah, go check that out, go learn your scales, it's very, very important. And then step two, after you've done your scales, you have to get that in place first. Once you know some scales, then you wanna learn the chords in all of those scales. So I printed out these sheets, and this is thanks to a mentor of mine, shout out Mario. Basically, it's got all chords in all the minor keys. So for example, well, we have the C minor scale right here, and then it gives me all the numerical chords in that scale. So if I go to my keyboard, the C minor scale, I can play all the chords in there. C minor, diminished, and so forth and so forth. I recommend going to Google, finding a chord chart that has all the chords in a scale. Also print out one of these as well, so it will tell you exactly the hand positions for each of the chords. Once you do that, honestly, you just have to practice, keep playing the chords. And I'm telling you, that is gonna make life so much easier. It's definitely, definitely helped me out. And this is not a process that is quick. It's not something that I did today, so now I know all my skills and I know all my chords. It just takes time. I still don't know all the chords, but once you start to understand the scales and the chords in the scales, it makes life a lot easier when it comes to making melodies. I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps. Let's make a beat. Based on what I said before, I've picked a scale that I'm gonna to stick to. It's G flat minor or F sharp minor. And then I've got some chords in that as well. So that's going to be the main thing. Put the BPM to like 160. I'm going to thicken this up as well by adding some bass notes.
I just doubled those notes. What I'm gonna do is duplicate those chords that I played in in the beginning. And then I'm gonna switch the sound to a road sound from this plugin right here, Lounge Lizard. Let's make this drum. It's gonna cue flam it to like, let's try that. I want to add a guitar to this. I feel like a nice guitar solo or something would just fit right in this melody. I got a guitar right over there. I'm just going to figure out something. Got the guitar set up and I've repeated the melodies all over so I can just hit record and keep playing for like two, three minutes until I find something. years later. So I'm going in chopping the audio and I'm just going to put it in place because I played out of time. It goes a bit more smoothly. Alright, that will have to do. It's not perfect, but I think it fits the melody well. I'm just going to put some reverb on that. I think that's good for the melodies. So far we got, I put some vocal chops in the beginning and then in the second part of the melody, we've got the guitars coming in. I'm gonna add some drums on top of this now and turn this into a full beat. I'm going to use my new drillers kit to do most of the drums. If you haven't heard of it, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Link will be in the description. I'm gonna use my favorite perk of all time, the Keiko's perk in my Atlantic here. For the bass line, I'm gonna use a sub bass and instead of pencing it in, I'm just gonna copy the chords that I did before, paste that down and then delete all these top notes here and just keep the bass notes. Move down a few octaves. And then just to give it more of that sub bass feeling, low pass it a little. and then let's add some overdrive as well.
right, let's rearrange this into a full beat. I'm just going to repeat it out a few times. Get rid of all the drums. I think in the beginning we'll keep it basic. Just have the pianos. And then here I'll take out the vocal chops. Maybe even the guitar as well. Just have the roads. And then here we go into the drop. And then after that, we'll have almost everything apart from the vocal chops. And then after this section, I'm going to get rid of the kick and some perks. And we bring back in the kick, kicks again, take away some perks. I'm just literally deleting elements and bring them back in again. Get rid of the roads here. Everything here will get deleted. And then after that section, we we'll just go back into the chorus once again. Perfect. Sounds nice and emotional. I can imagine either like Rod Wave jumping on this or maybe even like a UK rapper like Nines or Scraps or something. Just cooked up an insane melodic beat from scratch. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found those tips useful. Go ahead, go try it out, go learn some scales, then the chords that go with those scales. And let me know in the comments below if it actually helps you improve your melodies and helps you make better melodies in the future. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please hit that thumbs up button right now. And if you didn't know, I got a podcast where I talk with other music producers, other YouTubers who are doing cool things. Just released a new one with my best friend Jacob. Go check that out because it's sick and he drops a ton, a ton of gems. That's about it for this video. I'll see you in the future.